it's time. It's time, guys, to get the prosciutto out of the fridge. It's been two weeks with this cured ham in here. It's the next morning with our new chickens. We have about 20 chickens in here now. Bernice, good morning. It's always interesting to see how everyone reacts to each other when they first get out of the coop. As far as like the new chickens versus our older chickens, these are the these are the newer chickens. And these are our older chickens. They all kind of stay away from each other. <laughs> at first, at first, they get kind of get used to each other, and then they'll 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 start mingling after about a couple weeks. Chickens are much like our us humans, where we don't like change. They're very much the same way. Looks like I gotta go buy feed today. Chicken fight, chicken fight. Look at Freddy. Freddy, you taking care of this? You got this, you got this. Come on, Charlie. We need to load up, because I need to go pick up some feed. Check on the prosciutto, guys. I think we're gonna hang it today in the kitchen. We uh, it's been in here for about two weeks now. I've been draining it. It's got plenty of salt on it. First time curing a ham like this, so it's kind of nerve-wracking because that's a big piece of meat. But you never know till you till you try. You gotta try it. So my friend Justin contacted me saying they overbought chicken layer feed, and so he called up his friends asking. Whoever wants some chicken feed, he has a lot of. They buy the tote. So I need something to put all that feed in. All right, we got the Rhodes Bros here helping. So the best way I could see doing this is just um, shoveling it, shoveling, <laughs> bucketing it into the barrels, because they're not going to be able to move these barrels once all that feeds in there. So I brought up some buckets. It's ten, or no, eleven buckets full here. This one's, this barrel's a little bit bigger. What are we looking at? This is thirteen for this one. Thirteen bucket loads. This should last me throughout the whole winter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there we go. I love putting feet in these barrels. It works out really well. and I enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy putting feet in barrels. They're like a quick and, you know, easy way to store feed. A fairly economical way. Not used to backing up a trailer, man. It's so hard. But I guess it's all practice. Just don't hit the prosciutto. Don't hit the prosciutto, okay? Just leave that alone. Just try not to hit the fridge either. Oh man, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that backup right there, guys. It's always weird when just after you butcher chickens, if you have a lot of chickens that you're raising, or our two pigs, you know, we just butchered them. So you know, a part of me still feels like I'm gonna see them or I'm gonna hear them because I'd for sure be hearing them right now. They'd be squealing at me. Yeah, it's a little weird that our pigs are gone. We have no more chickens. Look at this, this is a retractable strap. It goes in and out by itself. Oh my gosh, this is such a game changer. Oh my gosh, look at this. One-handed. 
These weigh at 300 pounds each. So you're gonna live on this trailer for now. That's one of the reasons why I got this trailer because I'm thinking about the best thing to do is get totes. Instead of getting a, a bag of feed, like a 50 pound bag, it's better or cheaper to get a tote of feed. So I'm thinking this trailer is gonna help me with that. I'm already thinking about that for next year. I think we need to do that for the amount of chickens we raise and stuff that we do here. It should be so much cheaper for a tote. The only thing about a tote is like, you need somewhere to put it, you need somewhere, like how are you gonna move it if you need to move it? Like, you know, if you don't have a tractor or anything like that. So that you'd have to figure out. But if I have this trailer, I think this trailer could help me even if I just leave it here until these barrels are more manageable and we can move them around, they get, they get lighter. But this feed should last us the entire winter. Hey everybody, hey everybody. Is everyone getting along today? We got the new egg layer crew over there. We got our old layer crew right here. I know you guys don't like change. But we got pellets this time, all right? This feeder that I like using is a king feeder. It's an automatic feeder. This feeder should last about four days if it's full. They don't know what to do with that feed. They don't like change. Now, Freddy, what's up? Hey Charlie. Hey Charlie. It's time. It's time guys to get the prosciutto out of the fridge. It's been two weeks with this cured ham in here. This fridge has been going for two weeks straight. It's still going strong. It's kind of scary that we're doing a cured ham. Okay, after looking at it, it still looks pretty moist to us. It just looks like it's still holding a lot of water and we're still continuing to drain it. Uh, we just think it needs a little bit more time. And that's okay, with these things, you you know, it, they all vary. <laughs> okay guys, this is so weird. <laughs> the fact that this takes two years and it's not gonna go bad. We just don't want any moisture in here and we really wanna take our time with it. So we feel like it needs just a couple more days. We're just repacking it with salt now. We got some Redmond salt. I think that's good. Back in the cool room. We're gonna put it back in here, I don't know, maybe another few days, right? Yeah, we'll watch it. We'll just come back. Especially after three days, we're gonna come back and drain it. But we're just gonna watch it again and just make sure that it's drying out and it doesn't look so nice. 